All right, we're back. I left one little spot of the original concrete. Other than that, I didn't mess with the handle up here at all because it's got still some of the lacquer on it. But uh, let's get that little last little bit off there and uh, buff it out. This is part two. Needle scalers oiled. We're gonna knock that concrete out. This we're gonna try. And yeah, I got my ears protection on. Call it the mini. I don't know if I can make that zoom on that or not. That's the mini scaler, central pneumatic. That's a Harbor Freight. Thing's a beast. I'm impressed. I'm not saying it's the best one in the world, but so far it's done what I've wanted to do. It's the Chicago pneumatic uh, die grinder, the right angle. some pretty heavy pitting in here that i didn't realize i had but uh you know this thing weighs so much less it's crazy so it's like a burnished rust finish now but it's just an old sho a concrete shovel Let's see if we can get this thing going wide yeah there we go what's nice about this let's see if i can get this thing uh explain why it's a good concrete shovel so you ever find yourself in the misfortune let me take those off the misfortune of having to shovel concrete what you want is a short handle d because you're going to do that you're going to load that with concrete and you're going to go Hurt. that's what you're going to do you don't want some big longy thing with a with a no control that d handle is important because that concrete gets a little heavy starts doing a little tippy tip on you you want to be able to control so this is great plus with the straight edge you can smooth and trowel and all sorts of like, you know, obviously roughly. So this is a fantastic concrete shovel. Definitely been used a bunch. This part up here doesn't bother me so much. But yeah, back from the dead. I mean, not back from the dead. I've been using the hell out of it, but just it weighed so much with all that extra concrete on it. It's just like, man, alive. Uh, what is it? It's a, a 9850... Oh, 985 degree O dynamic true temper. Oh, it's patent number. There might be a number right before that. I can't tell. Heat treated number two true temper. Couldn't get in there real good. Got a little rock going in, but there's a good handle on here. She's solid. She's solid. That's a solid shovel there, kids. Deconcretified. And I could have got crazy and like sandblasted, I guess, but like, come on now. Let's be real. Let's be real. 
And while we're in here, I'll show you something else. The difference from the way things are and the way things were. Sorry for having to talk off camera. So this is interesting. This is just a garden rake, standard rake. But if you look at it, no welds. That's a cast rake. They don't make them like that anymore. You buy a rake now, it's a piece of cheap junk from China. It's welded on and they break. Like I've rebuilt this rake like three times. <laughs> I will never give this rake head away. I think at one point, I think, I think this rake actually, I, uh, not I, someone I know, snapped the steel on it. I re-welded it. Because these come up here and they twist them. Like these are like kind of forged, I guess, maybe too. Like cast and forged. They're probably cast flat and then they bend them. With a, they actually used to beat them with a heat and hammer. But up here, they twist. The wires twist and someone snapped it. I welded that back together because I was not going to let this bad boy go. You got a little got a little bend in her. That's right. Gives you that power. Give you the power. I mean, I'm not saying collect old tools, but they don't make old tools. They don't make new tools like they made the old ones. For sure. I think what else I got in here? Got another concrete shell. This might be a little low. Let's take a look at him. Oh man, I can't even get in there. Let's get this out of this uh, tripod. Um, we got all these tools in here. There's a shovel in there. It's another concrete shovel. It's a short handled with the D. Deploy the step. Oh yeah. I totally left my blower outside in a rainstorm last night. Nobody stole it though, so that's cool. This guy here. What's he doing? Oh yeah, he needs a little adjustment too, doesn't he? Well, we're not going to do it on this video. We'll talk about him. So this is one of those deals where... Oh, I'm going to fall. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is a newer handle. This one got rebuilt. This is another concrete shovel. What is this one? A number two. Heat treated. I can't read what that says. Why won't you focus? All well, these cameras. W, S, and T tool. W, S, and tool something? I can't read it. Anyways. This is a little concrete shovel. I might clean him up a little bit too. Someone went after him with a with a grinder at some point. You can see right there, but it's another one with the, with the D handle. So like this one's a little better for like really getting there and scooping the concrete. It's got that point you can really get a scoop. Yeah, I'll clean him up. I think wire wheel would be enough for him. I don't think I'm gonna do it on video here. Cause where are we at? We're at eight minutes? Eh, we'd probably do two minutes of me wire wheeling. Why not? Life is short. If you're into this, why would you want to miss out? Right? And if you're not into it, I'm sure you've already uh, like stopped watching. So huh, how about that? Well, what could be more fun than watching me run a wire wheel? Half in shadow, half in sun. I think I want to go all in shadow because sun is hot. How's that look? We got him? We got him? Let's go like this. Now let's go like this. <laughs> Professional here. Let's see if it'll clean up. Come on, baby. So the thing with 
concrete, you get a little bit of concrete on your tool, because you're lazy, you don't clean it good. Well, the next time you use it, that concrete will stick more concrete, and it just slowly grows. And like you're a little bit of laziness the first time, it just grows and grows. Next thing you know, you got all this. Well, that's gonna come off real easy. I mean, it all buffed off. And up in there, it's gonna be hard to get out. I could probably needle scale that. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a part two on that video. That's what I'm doing. Just clean up the old tools, make them nice again. <laughs> stay safe.